belong exclusively to Vladimir Kara Mirza could be dying. Sir. He's a political opponent of Vladimir Putin, and he's in grave condition, according to his wife, who's sitting at his bedside in a Moscow hospital. This comes nearly two years after he says he was poisoned and almost died. According to his lawyer, doctors say a toxic substance is to blame for this latest illness. Kara Mirza's wife says there's someone to blame. The Russian government and President Putin are responsible for what happened to my husband two years ago and now one way or another. I'm not saying that they are the ones who did that, but they created such a climate in our country that actually encourages this kind of behavior. Senator On the Arizona. Senate floor, speaking about Kara Mirza's case, Senator John McCain flat out called the Russian president a killer. That butcher and thug and KGB colonel. Putin's spokesman tells CNN it's, quote, pure nonsense to make any connections between Kara Mirza's illness and Putin. But Kara Mirza had worked closely with Boris Nemtsov, another prominent opponent of Putin's, who was gunned down near Red Square two years ago. This was literally steps from the Kremlin. There are security cameras all over the place. So the idea that you couldn't walk across that bridge and actually be safe is, I think, a signal to everyone um, that you got to watch your back. Putin condemned the killing, and five people were arrested. An investigative committee said at the time it was a contract murder committed by an organized group. We asked former State Department official Sarah Mendelson and other Russia experts the question on many minds this week. Is it fair to call Vladimir Putin a killer? He doesn't necessarily pull the trigger. He has enabled a system where opponents, journalists, activists have been killed. In 2006, investigative journalist Anna Politkovskaya was digging up information on Russian war crimes in Chechnya when she was shot and killed in her Moscow apartment complex. The accused killers were convicted, but the mastermind was never caught. The closest anyone's come to tracing a political murder to Vladimir Putin? The 2006 death of former Russian intelligence agent Alexander Litvinenko. He'd also been digging up information damaging to the Kremlin. In a Cold War-style operation, someone slipped the radioactive substance polonium into Litvinenko's tea in London. The British investigated. There were all sides represented. There were tons of evidence, and on the basis of that evidence, British judge found that Mr. Putin is likely uh, to have ordered this killing. The Kremlin vehemently denied any role in Alexander Litvinenko's death. Will there ever be consequences for Vladimir Putin in any of these killings? Analysts say don't hold your breath. They say he's created a culture of impunity where he controls the media and answers to no one.